Assalamu alaikum, namaste and welcome to Ayrisha's Kitchen Stories. It's vlog time. So I decided to uh, talk to you guys today and uh, not specifically have a recipe because tonight I'm not cooking. Um, it's my godchild, my nephew's birthday and we're headed there and um, just uh, I thought I'll talk to you and and maybe um, um, express myself and tell you how people you know certain a few people in my life mean so much to me so my nephew Joshua was born in 2002 and at that point in time I had no plans of uh, settling down and I was living all by myself and uh, he was very 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 close to me in fact I I had decided that uh, you know it doesn't matter if I don't have kids in future and no marriage because I would uh, adopt him and you know have someone in my life he was a very special child because um, there were so many mysterious things about him and uh, um, he would have these cryptic uh, messages conveyed to me um, through his uh, you know he was a baby and he, he could see things um, spooky enough because he could see things in my mom's house um, and he had, and it's not that he was making things up later on we had to believe him because we saw things happening and unfolding in our house and it was spooky and he could see things and uh, you know he would talk about his you know experiences in another life um, and he was it was very interesting and very intriguing and when my father passed away 15 years ago he was around maybe what four and uh, I was in shock and uh, for three months I was mourning and uh, it was a very difficult time for me and I remember him walking up to me and saying Gamma you know Abba he called my father uh, Abba and he's like, Gama, you know what? You don't need to worry because Abba just spoke to me and he said, tell your Gama not to cry for me anymore because um, I'm going to be reborn uh, through, through her. So her son is going to be me. So she'll have me again in her life. And uh, he was just three or four and it was... You know, at that time it felt comforting. It felt like, you know, I didn't want to believe or I didn't believe or I did believe. But those words comforted me in some way and it got me out of the whole um, depressed state of mind. And he's always been dear to me, very loving and very intelligent. And he was, um, he was adorable as a child. He still is. But of course now he's in his teens so things are his hormones are acting up and he's got these bits of you know um, teenage stuff happening anger and stuff like that but um, he was adorable and um, I think I was so attached to him that uh, when I got married in 2010 and I had my first son in December um, he turned out to be exactly like him. A lot of similarities between Joshua and him. And uh, um, I'm glad because, uh, you know, uh, my son is as loving and affectionate and intelligent and all those things that I loved about Joshua he has. And um, so I can say the genes, you know, uh, a few genes. Aslan has comes from my myself family because I like to believe that. So yeah, um, that so that's Joshua and uh, it's his birthday today. It's his 18th birthday today. Wow, time flies. Time flies, I tell you, because I just can't believe it. He's turning 18 today. Anyways. So I told you who Joshua is and I'm going over to my mom's house. He's my brother's son and I'm going over to my mom's house where um, 
uh, we're going to celebrate his birthday. Unfortunately, his father's stuck in Dubai due to the COVID-19 situation and he can't come. But um, um, we want to make this day special for him in whatever small way that we can. And um, my mom is there with him. She's old and I don't expect her to cook anything. So we ordered from this place. This is a new place near my house. I walked in the other day and I noticed that um, it had uh, this full stuffed chicken on its menu um, and I thought I, I you know I'm going to order that for Joshua's birthday and so we ordered two full chicken one stuffed and one without the stuffing and I'm going to pick up a few other stuff um, maybe garlic bread or I don't know I'm going to take a look at the place I'll show you the place as well and we're going to celebrate Joshua's birthday. So come along. Let's see how this day turns out finally. So we've come all the way to the family table by Joseph's. Joshua and we're here say hi. Hello. And uh, we're here for his birthday. And surprisingly I have my brother here. My oldest brother. I'm gonna show you. And his family. This is my brother. And we're just starting the family get together. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep you posted on the on the fun we have. Okay, so this is the chicken we got from the family table. This is the stuffing that came with it. This is the chicken. This is the bread that we got. One is with cheese. And uh, this is the masala bread, plain. This is the the chicken cutlet, it was yummy, we finished all. I left one for the camera to show you. And yeah, the chicken looks gorgeous, looks amazing. I'm going to taste it and tell you at the end how it turned out. And I'll get back to you in a bit. So the stuffing has rosemary. I'll show it to you. It has rosemary. It has sausages, peas, carrots cashews, raisins, croutons and uh, it tastes really really good. It came with some gravy here and it's delicious but it's not spicy at all. The only heat that you get is some pepper but it's really good. It's worth trying. A thumbs up. Go closer. Wow. If you eat too much, you get fat. If you eat too much, you get fat. If you eat too much, you get fat. In the shower, and the The coconut tree will come. It'll wash your bag and give me a bow. I think it's time to call. If you eat too much, you get fat. If you eat too much, you get fat. Alright, so we are idiots. Audience, I need clapping. <laughs> 